Welcome everyone. Today is May the 18th, 2024, and I had to wait until it was pitch black dark to make this video. So I'm going to show you what I'm using this for. This is my Sensi Go. You don't have to use a Sensi Go, but it's pretty cool and I love this thing. So anyways, I'm going to show you how you can make this even cooler. So I recently saw Jan at Simply Jan Homestead win a light up bucket at the 10 Killer YouTube meetup. And I thought it was pretty cool. I wanted one. So I started thinking, well, okay, maybe I could find a really cheap LED light. And then I realized, oh, I actually have one. So my Sensi Go, you can use it just for the lights. Now there's two different kinds. The white Sensi Go, you don't want that one because there's no light. But the Sensi Go with the silver strip or the rose gold has the light. It's actually an air freshener. So you don't have to use it as an air freshener, but I'll just show you. So the inside, you can put your pods. They look like this. You can put one or two. And they're just natural and essential oils um, with beads. And they're really awesome. They smell so good. So you can put your air fresheners in here. And you have a portable air freshener for your vehicle, your campsite, anything. But you can just use it for the light. So I have it right here now on the rainbow. So it will naturally just go through all the colors. But you can put it on just a single color. So what I thought is I could put that in the bucket and I can make my own light up bucket. So, how cool is that? It's just a white five gallon bucket. You could use any size white bucket, but it's pretty cool. So I thought this is awesome because it's pretty, but it's also pretty cool because it's really good for safety things. So, you know, just for the decorative thing. I mean, if you're having people over or you just want to enjoy a nice time outside and it's dark out, maybe having a bonfire or swimming in a pool or whatever the case may be. Especially like out here in the country, it is pitch black dark and you can't see in front of you at all. So you could take these, like a bucket and the light, you can put it in places where you want people to be careful. Like if there's stairs, then they can clearly see, oh, that's where the stairs are. Or if you have an outdoor bathroom, they can see, oh, that's where the bathroom is. And they clearly know what direction to go or where to not go. If there's something that you want people to be very careful of, like a pothole in the yard or something, don't step on it. Um, but you could also line up your driveway if you're having guests. And how cool would that be? They can just drive up the driveway and they have these cool, you know, lights to so they can see where the driveway is. So there's really awesome things you can do. But let's say you're camping or for any reason, you could, especially if you have young kids. And let's say you have to use public bathrooms outdoors at night, like if you're camping. Well, what you could do is in front of your campsite, you could put, um, I have a car going by. It's a truck, but. So what you could do is you could put a bucket in front of your campsite, like your, you know, your camper or your tent. So when your kids go to use the public bathrooms, when they come out, they clearly know which way to go. Like, oh, there's the bucket. So I need to go this way. And it just helps them to not get lost or go to the wrong site. But if, especially if there's like, you know, different people and different kids, you can each put your bucket a different color and the kids will know, oh, my bucket is the blue or my tent you know, is the red. So you just look for the color bucket and you know where you're going. But it's also really good if you have a car and you're driving or an ATV or in the winter, a snowmobile, because they're so lightweight, they don't weigh anything. You can put your stuff in them. But if you have a breakdown or for run out of gas or anything and you're stuck at night and it's pitch black darkness, this is something that'd be really nice to have because you could at least let people easily see where you are. So you can use a cell phone and say, hey, I'm on this trail, I'm broken down. And it's pitch, pitch black dark. And when someone's trying to find you, it's much easier for them to find you when they can see this bright bucket <laughs> lit up at night. Or at the side of the road, you can put the bucket there so if people are driving by, they know, use caution, there's, there's something going on around here. But I was also thinking, for people who fish, if you get a lid that is waterproof, 
you could put uh, your light in here with the waterproof lid and you could attach it to your boat. And if you have boat trouble, uh, trouble with your boat or something, you can put it on and people can clearly find your boat. And like I said, it doesn't weigh anything. And, um, you, you know, you can use it to put your stuff in, but then you can also empty it and use it to let people clearly see where you are. So you can put it on your boat if you're stuck or, you know, you're lost and you're just waiting for help, they can clearly see where you are. Or if your boat is sinking um, and the see the bucket will float, you could tie the bucket, um, you know, to your life jacket and it just helps people to be able to find you so much easier. So there's so many like safety things that you could use these for and it's so easy and it's so fairly cheap you can you can get these buckets for free at the bakery centers here I don't know where you are but here as long as they have them they give them to you for free because at night they just throw them out so and they're really good quality buckets and they're all food grade too so if you can get free a free bucket and those ones come with lids so you can get it free and then you can just get even just a flashlight. I mean, the brighter, the better, but just a simple flashlight. And now you have a safety device or just a cool decoration outside. Now, another thing you could do. So I was wondering how this would work, but you know, if you have a handle on your bucket, you could put it in your bucket and you could actually walk with it. So if you have, if you have car trouble, for whatever reason or there was an accident and you have to go walking down the street maybe your cell phone don't work if you got into an accident it's possible your cell phone got damaged and it's not going to work then what do you do so if you have to walk down the road you can take the bucket that's in your car with you know like an emergency kit dump it all out put your light in there and you can walk down the street and it, it hardly it doesn't even hardly weigh anything it's just empty plastic bucket and people can actually cars can see you going by so you know it's really a good option for something to carry or if you allow your kids to go trick-or-treating you know here's that's another cool thing they can take their bucket out um you could actually put like a false bottom in there so you know the light you know you could have like a, a light down there then the top part you can put like they can put their candy but you know there's just like there's so many ideas you can use and it doesn't have to be five gallon it can be a smaller one too um but just any white bucket so there's a lot of different options um you could also actually this would be pretty cool too if you have the structures for it like if you had like a really nice patio or something and you know you had people over and you want it to just be like a really fun time and look cool you could actually hang these buckets um, along, you know, the outside of your, there's another truck. So you could hang them, you know, along like a wooden, like frame or something, if you have it on your patio and you could put them in there. So it's just a lot, um, better than using candles. I find, I love candles, but it's just better using these and they're rechargeable too. So that's even better. But I'm sure there's tons and tons of ideas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take pictures because you can't see out here, but I'm going to take pictures and I'll put the pictures of my Sensi Go on my community page so that you can actually see what I'm talking about. And, um, and then you can also in the comments below, you can put down any ideas you have on what people can use this for that's fun or just for safety. And then maybe it might help somebody give them some ideas and things that I haven't thought of. So if you have any ideas, put them in the comments so everyone else can see them. And this is so cool. I just love this, it's so awesome. Now mine doesn't have a fancy logo. It says Kent Building Center, but you know, you could decorate. If you have a plain five, just a plain white bucket, you could put a nice logo. And now, you know, if you have a family reunion or something, you can give those away. Um, yeah, it's just pretty cool. You could use them at the reunion and then give them away and have like, you know, a nice little logo or their names. Each person can have a bucket with their name on it. 
Um, so anyways, I'm going to end this video. It's freezing cold out here and there, I still have traffic. I, I don't know where the traffic comes from. You know, sometimes when you move out to the middle of nowhere, it's not as middle of the nowhere as you think because everyone has to go by your house to get to their house in the middle of nowhere. So I'm going aside. It's freezing cold and there's some good YouTube lives that are actually starting um, right now because it's 10 o'clock Atlantic time. So I'm going inside and I will see you on the next video. I'm just going to turn my light off here. So I hope you have an amazing day and I'm going to post this tomorrow.